day one of the John Calipari Fantasy Camp and everybody keeps giving me the same advice. Lots of Advil and lots of ice. This is gonna be bad. I mean, this is gonna be really, really bad on my body. I just know it. What's the pregame scouting report on my skill set? We're gonna see during uh, the tryout games, don't get hurt. That's the first thing. Don't embarrass yourself and don't give anybody that you work with any ammunition to bash you. Every time I move, I hear my body go snap, crackle, pop. Then this is just stretching. I do have a great number, 48. All the great players wore number 48. I mean, JC, you're an eight-time experienced veteran of the Calipari Fantasy Camp. Give me some advice here, man. Biggest advice is the is three-point line to three-point line. That's all you got to run. Three-point line to three-point line. Now, you said something I'm scared of. You said run. I'm thinking light jog, maybe even walk. Well, I expect you to be diving on the floor, going after balls, jumping out of bounds. I expect you to go on 110%. Now, here's one thing that you're not going to see from me is diving on the floor and giving 110%. But I promise you, I will pass you the ball. Well, I, I expect you to pass me the ball, and then I expect you to shoot the ball when I pass it right back to you. That was five minutes only. I'm done. <laughs> I'm already ready to tap out. I went down the lane, and next thing I know, you swatted it up in the chief seat. All right. Uh, you're kind of pushing me here, so I'm going to have to say next time just bring your A-game, sir. If you're my coach, will you kind of baby me and coddle me a little bit? I can promise that I will not draft you. Is it normal that I was about to pass out after the first exhibition game? Um, that's probably not good. The biggest disappointment to me in the whole draft process, I lost a bet that you were going to be the last pick, and you weren't. But you didn't draft, you had a chance obviously to draft me way early in the draft. Based on the evaluation games, I made the right choice. Coach Robick is giving you a lot of grief for drafting me. I'm just giving you a little warning. I thought it was one of the finest picks that's been made in the history of this camp. The fact that you're on my team? Yes. I'm on, yeah, I'm on your team. Oh my God. You didn't realize you had drafted me? No, they, they told me that 48 was another person. It's a family environment. The basketball's great, don't get me wrong. We get to play at places like Rupp and the Craft Center. But my family gets to come down and enjoy things that, that every Kentucky fan dreams of doing. We also get to see the people who we meet over the years returning to the camp, which is actually really neat. Different parts of the country, different backgrounds. We see each other once a year, and it's at this camp. Whether it's here, the Bahamas, wherever Cal takes yeah. it, by all means. Kentucky basketball bonds us all. Day one of the Cal Fantasy Camp is in the books. My team is now 0-1. But it's a great victory because I did not end up in the hospital. But there's still two days left. We'll see how that goes. Back to you. I definitely saw some blood. So he, he definitely bled at one point. But here's how things turned out. They won it all. Ryan Lemond's team won the championship. Uh, there he is cutting down the nets. As you might have expected from watching him play, that was the best team of the whole camp. So we are so proud of you, Ryan. Well-deserved.